you are no longer in a relationship with your in-laws because the relationship was toxic, their behaviors were toxic. And now you're dealing with your sister-in-law who you did have a relationship with and it sounds like you miss her and that you love her and that there was maybe value in that relationship and I say maybe for this reason. I want you to look back at your relationship with her and what that relationship felt like and what you shared and basically assess the value of the relationship you had with your sister-in-law. Sometimes we romanticize those relationships. Sometimes they are what we think they are. It's important for us to go back and look at that critically so you can know what you want to do for sure moving forward. If you find that that relationship did bring you joy and value and that you want to try to keep that connection, then sit down with your sister-in-law and have one conversation. Obviously, she has to be willing. And that goes to whether or not there was health in that relationship. Because if she's not willing, well then she's telling you she's part of that group of people that finds their behavior acceptable. Sit down with her and say, listen, I love you. I care for you. I care about our relationship. I understand that you are angry with me and that you don't like that I don't want a relationship with your parents, but that's for me to decide for me. I don't feel good, I don't feel safe, whatever it is in that relationship, and I don't wanna argue with you about the reasons why and whether they'll change and all of that stuff. This is about my peace for me to decide. What I would like to do here is have a relationship with you. And if you can do that without being involved in the middle, I don't want you involved in the middle. It's not your job to try to create a bridge between a relationship that should be up to me to build that bridge if I choose to. I don't want you in a situation where you feel like you need to deliver news or try to make things better or try to fix it or anything like that. I want us to enjoy the relationship we've always had and just not talk about the things that are related to your parents. If you can do that, that would make me ever so happy or however you feel about that. And if you can't, I understand that and I respect your decision not to have a relationship with me. That's really the only thing that you can do because you know you can't control other people's behavior. And I know somebody's gonna pop on and say, well, you know, they're the monkey in the middle or the flying monkey and they're never gonna change. I really want people to open up a little bit and give people an opportunity to show up. You never know. And at the end of the day, no matter what, you know in yourself, like you have that piece of, I extended that branch, I tried to save a relationship that was important to me, I did what I could, and that is actually going to help you sleep that much better at night. You will have your own closure because you provided it for yourself. Good luck to you, and I hope my advice helps. So much, I love myself enough to keep some space from you. You don't control me anymore. No, I'm not the old me. Now I'm my old me, and I'm, I'm so aware of all the toxic things you do. So you can leave me and believe me that when you see me, I'ma be the free me. Cause I, because I choose to be free. Because I enforce the boundaries around my energy Cause, cause I choose to be me yeah. I won't surround myself with people that will steal my inner peace You gotta choose to be free too And be careful